All right, let's get back to the business. Um, let's go ahead and see how we did yesterday. So yesterday we set up the Webpack, and I just want to iterate over and review. Uh, I'm going to make this as a build, uh, as a watch. So our um, TypeScript is going to be watching this file. So instead of doing yarn run dev, it's a small change, but you have a watch flag on your Webpack. You have progress, and then we're going to read from this as um, it's not going to be a DAG. It's going to be config. So now if we run yarn run watch, I have a shortcut, yarn run w, y r w, and our code is built successfully. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with uh, adding uh, git in it with here. So everything is tracked in our uh, project. And also what I'm gonna do is create a git ignore file. So dot git ignore. And I'm going to add node modules here. So our node modules folder is not going to be tracked with this. And looking at that, now you see it's a dark gray now. Next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to move our manifest.json file because we installed Webpack. Now we just want to move manifest.json file into our SRC folder. That way, everything is tracked by Webpack and not. Um, uh, not just in the main folder. So if I do this, uh, it's going to break because we don't uh, Webpack, uh, Webpack is not uh, transpiling that code for manifest.json into our disk folder. So with that, let's work on that. All right. So as we broke our uh, extension, uh, we're going to use a plugin in our Webpack file, which is going to be uh, copy Webpack plugin. And I just searched on Google. It says copy Webpack plugin. I think it's the second link. And you come here and install this. So what this is going to do is going to let us install Webpack plugin uh, that's just going to copy our file towards that folder. So we can just copy our manifest.json file into this folder. So what I'm going to do is come back here and clear this out real quick. And then install yarn uh, add d uh, dash d copy Webpack plugin. I'm going to hit enter. And now we have that plugin. All right, so now that we have installed our plugin, let's go ahead and bring it in. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And it's going to be const plugin require plugin. And you can see in the docs uh, where I brought this from. All right, so next, I'm just going to copy this blob from here, which is the new uh, copy plugin. Actually, let's go ahead and copy from here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it and explain how this works. So if I come back in here, I can say plugins and then open array. And this takes. Uh, new copy plugin which i'm just going to paste it here so now that you have actually let's uh duplicate and then i think we need a closing one here too all right so now let me explain how this is this is going to work so new copy plugin has a, a pattern value and here it takes a object uh, from source and the destination so i'm going to delete this because we have two and here we're going to resolve this file, which is our manifest.json file, and then copy it to the destin uh, destination folder, which is uh, what we're going to use. But one thing we need uh, to do this would be a path. So let me import path. So const path is equal to require path. And now we have this. We can use this um, in our directory. So I can say path.resolve. And then this is going to take in our source directory. So I can say src slash manifest.json json file and then it's going to go ahead and paste it i'm going to put this on a new line maybe that would make a difference so you can see it and then same thing over here is going to be path dot resolve and then put this back on the disk folder all right so now we have this uh, uh working let's go ahead and uh, try to run our script again so yarn run watch and now we are seeing the error let's see what exactly it says it says on line 24 we have some problem here which is correct uh, i think we forgot to close yeah there you go and now we can go ahead and run yarn run watch and now if you can see our manifest.json file is connected so let me pull over uh, our extension here and i'm going to refresh all uh, it's not going to work so i'm going to remove this and then i'm going to try to re-add it again so if i come back here this folder 
and now uh, it's it's going to locate the icon.png which is what we need to do uh, next is just copy that uh, icon.png either we can just copy it to the uh, to the this folder for now uh, for it to work or we can do this manually but using the same thing so let's work uh, so for now i'm just going to leave it that way and we're going to write uh, that another pattern for the same thing so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to copy and paste this here so i'm going to uh, use this as a uh, asset so i'm going to use that assets and here i can say icon.png and now run this again so if i go ahead and cancel this out run it again and I know it's not going to find it because I just moved. Uh, let me move this here. And now let's run it one more time. Now it says unable to locate assets. Correct. So let's do assets and icon. There you go. So now it uh, compiled successfully. And if we refresh, everything's working. We're back up to uh, that again. So what I'm going to do is uh, do same thing. Instead of um, the, uh, keeping it here, I'm going to move my manifest.json file to assets uh, also so that um, it's in one place only. So we don't have to uh, look into another folder. So here, manifest.json file will move, be moved there. And now you can see it should go ahead and work the correct way. So yeah, so now it's compiled successfully and refresh, refresh, and our disk folder has icon uh, and our manifest.json file and our React files. So next we're going to learn about uh, Chrome.action as uh, API for Chrome actually supports Chrome.action with a default pop-up, uh, which I showed you in my uh, earlier video that you can create pop-ups like these uh, to show the user experience and some of the main things that you're uh, extension does it requires a popup.html file because we're working with um, HTML files here. Uh, web, uh, it's really hard for a React to uh, write the HTML file. But here's where we're going to use uh, HTML Webpack plugin, which I pulled it over. So if you go ahead and Google this, it's HTML plugin Webpack, and it's the first link. And what it does is basically it transpiles your uh, code, your JavaScript code, into HTML uh, Webpack, uh, into an HTML file. So let's go ahead and look at that. All right. So what I did behind the scene is just added the action method uh, with the click me and pop up that HTML. Now let's go ahead and install um, our uh, module. So let me close this one. I think I have two of them running. Uh, let's go ahead and get a new window. Uh, I'm going to say yarn add dash D and I'm going to paste that right here whoops sometimes this does that okay so let's go ahead and add this as our webpack plugin plugin and now let's go ahead and open our webpack.config file and import that so const html plugin is equal to require and then html plugin html webpack plugin all right so next thing what we're going to do is we're going to define the entry point because um we don't uh, we currently have entry point as test.txx but what we really want to do is we want to add our entry point to pop up dot, uh, pop up and in the directory pop up i'm just going to say pop up dot tsx uh my dad tsx and now we have this i'm just going to copy this real quick from here uh copy and then paste it and i'm going to get rid of uh, the test file so now that we have popup.tsx file let's go ahead and transpile this into an html file all right so next let's go ahead and copy this plugin so if i come back here uh, let's go ahead and say new html plugin and this takes an object and the first thing it requires is the title and we can say react.js boilerplate and then next thing it requires is file name, which is exactly the same file name uh, we uh, put in our manifest.json file. So if I come back here, uh, it's popup.html. So popup.html. Uh, and next, let, let me just put a comma here. I think I'm missing comma. And let's go ahead and see if this works. So run, run, watch. And it failed because it's asking, let's see what the error is. Field browser doesn't contain valid aliases resolve pat uh, test TSX. That is correct because we don't have TS, uh, that anymore. So now uh, we're, we're going to have to change our entry point. Uh, this is where uh, I'm going to use uh, an object. So let's go ahead and do that. And then first we're going to add pop up as our first one. 
and here's where we're going to write everything uh, for the pop-up where the entry point is going to be so this is going to be uh, slash src and then pop-up slash pop-up dot tsx and this is going to be our entry point so let me close this and do yarn run watch again uh, let's see what our next error is it says module doesn't exist it says it couldn't resolve uh, let's see maybe this might work yarn run watch and now we have that so if I go back in here we have pop up that HTML although uh, it doesn't have anything maybe it has um, our index.js file so let's go ahead and open that um, with this so react JS boilerplate uh, let's see if there are errors there are no errors I'm gonna big screen this for a second uh, which is you see right here it's like a tiny a little window all right so far we don't have any errors everything is working our pop-up.html I'm gonna close this video right here and uh, get to the next video so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please share and like this video